can see that it's super convenient. And oh, it already opened up. So charge it up. Yeah. And then as you can bring this closer, you can see that it's starting to blink green, which means it is charging. Hey everyone, this is Kelvin G from Tesla Owners of Silicon Valley, and I'm here to do a review of the Enphase IQ80 EV charger with Nax connector. So I did a, uh, a box opening video um, a few weeks back. So click on the link down below to check that out. But just to recap, this is a level two 64 amp charger, uh, which means it can get about 61 miles per range in an hour compared to the Tesla wall charger, which is a 48 amp. Uh, that gives you roughly around 48 miles per range per hour. So this is a little bit more of a high powered wall charger. Uh, it's also um, an encased uh, NEMA 4 um, enclosure, which means that it's good for outdoors or indoors. As you can see, this is installed indoors, but it's also uh, weather ready weather protected for outdoors so that means you can charge it in hot weather or cold weather and it'll be fine uh, you can see here this little bit more information from a lighting standpoint there's all these lights here for power charging power fault and charging fault unlike the Tesla one which is a little bit more cleaner um, but it's also a little bit bigger as well it also comes with uh, a connector a holster as you can see here unlike the Tesla one which actually is built in um, and has a cable management port system as you can see here um, some other cool features um, it is Wi-Fi enabled so it connects with the Enphase app so you can actually monitor and um, manage your charging you can also uh, manage the schedule of your charging so for off-peak times can actually start to manage and control your schedules so that you can take advantage of off-peak times and uh, charge for less money so that's always cool um, the other cool thing is it has a five-year warranty unlike the Tesla wall charger which has a four-year warranty so uh, one year additional warranty which is kind of cool and then the other thing is it does have an auto sensing connector because it is a max connector for Tesla so We'll test this out. Theoretically, this should open my charge port door as well as the uh, the Tesla one. Um, some negatives: it is uh, the resale value of our price of this is eleven seventy six. So it is uh, considerably more than the Tesla wall charger, which retails I think for four sixty, I believe. So you're paying a premium, but you are also getting a faster again sixty four amp versus forty eight amp charger. One additional advantage is this is a 25 foot cord, uh, which is one foot longer than the Tesla wall charger, which is a 24 foot cord. So if you need that longer cord, uh, this one has it. So at least one foot longer. So that's uh, another advantage that the Enphase has. Uh, and then one final thing I will mention, the Enphase does work with the whole Enphase um, energy management system. So it does support, Enphase does have micro inverters for solar, uh, panels on the roof and then it has a battery storage unit similar to a power wall um, so that whole ecosystem works well together and then um, it does have the app I mentioned so the app the battery storage home charger and then the micro inverters for solar is all part of the whole end phase energy management uh, ecosystem all right so we're gonna um, charge up the car and uh, see how it performs. You can see that it's super convenient. And oh, it already opened up. So charge it up. Yeah. And then as you can bring this closer, you can see that it's starting to blink green, which means it is charging. Okay, we are charging the car, and this is the N Phase app. And as you can see, uh, it is sensing the charging. You can see here we have 
first identifies the device. You can see that it is charging. And if I click, click on this live status button, uh, you can see it's uh, charging at 11.8 kilowatts, um, which is somewhat consistent with what the car is saying. It's saying around 10 kilowatts, so uh, fairly close. And uh, so, so that part's working. So, um, and also, if I go into this unit here, you'll see that it is got the power light and the charging light is on. So it's working as advertised. Uh, I should also point out though that uh, my car is limited to 48 amps. So as you can see here, uh, even though the end phase is a 64 amp charger, uh, I am at the full limitation here so we'll see how long this takes to charge but i just want to call that out uh, this is a a future proof device so if you do get this charger uh just know that whatever new cars and wh whatever new uh infrastructure charging infrastructures they have uh this will support that at a faster speed all right uh, it's been a couple of hours and uh, I've charged it to 80, actually 81%. And so we're done charging. So I'm gonna hit this button here, stop charging, yep. Unplug it. All right, so let's just wrap things up. Uh, from a product standpoint, I give it a four out of a five. It's, uh, it's a little bit larger than the Tesla wall connector. It's not as clean looking. Um, uh, so there is that. Some people prefer that cleaner look. So I'm going to give that a 4 out of a 5. Uh, from a installation standpoint, uh, it was a pretty clean install. Uh, so I'll give that a 5 out of 5. Uh, no issues with the install. And then the functionality, I'll give it a 4 out of a 5. It, it did what it said it was going to do. Uh, there's some funkiness with the app. The app wasn't quite real time, but it also... Uh, it, it's cool in that it will future-proof your future EV, right? So any future EV that will take full advantage of that 64 amp uh, charging capability. Uh, if you buy this thing, you're good for however uh, long. Um, so while not every car can take full advantage of that, uh, you're future-proof. So you gotta give thumbs up on, on that. And uh, price value, I give it a 3 out of a 5. It is a premium product, so you're paying... Um, 1176 versus 420 for the Tesla wall connector. But again, you are future proofing your, your investment. Um, and then finally, that is a total score of 15 out of 20. Um, one thing I did like, I will say is, I didn't even have to press the button. It just sensed that uh, my Tesla was nearby and opened the charge port. So that was a cool little unexpected feature. Uh, but like I said, counterbalance of that is there's some funkiness with the apps it doesn't quite update uh, in real time as you would expect so uh, some good in the pro uh, good in the bad with that but other than, other than wise really solid product really solid um, charger and um, it does its job so that's it thanks for watching